Here are some additional three drops uh, for the uh, large Grixis deck build, effectively a mini cube. Uh, gutter Snipe, uh, red creature, uh, and uh, it's an uncommon. I just pulled one out of a pack this morning, and I had two from one of the theme decks. Splatter Thug, of which I only have one, even though it's common, so I'm sure as I keep pulling more, uh, Return to Wrath, but I'll have some more. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's got First Strike and Unleash. That seems at first glance useful. Uh, an Inhalating Fire is an instant. It deals 3 damage uh, to target creature of, or player. And um, and then if a creature dealt damage this way would die uh, this turn, you exile it instead. That can be useful for creatures that uh, use the graveyard. Then we've got uh, Fires of Undeath, which is a card that goes all the way back to Innistrad, yet it is a Rakdos card. It's got a Black ability in the flashback, but it is a red car. It deals two damage to target creature or player. If you've got a late game uh, going on, you can play this card twice. Oh. Then here goes uh, Brimstone Vo Volley, an instant. Uh, it deals three damage, and it's nice to play it when something dies because it's got Morbid, and the Morbid ability says that it deals five damage that's very useful burning vengeance is an enchantment it just sits there and does its thing and so whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard burning vengeance deals two damage to target creature or player and if i go back and pull gutter snipe and set it side by side um, it's almost identical. It's, it's really identical. They just put the same ability on a creature or on an enchantment. Uh, frankly, I'd rather have it in an enchantment because it just sits there and does it does its thing every single turn. Uh, in the case of Gutter Snipe, it can get killed. Now we have uh, Cryptborn Horror, which I think is a rare out of one of the theme decks. Uh, must have been the Ragdos one, of course. Uh, it's got Trample, and then it gets X's from the total life lost by your opponents this turn. Uh, we also have this uncommon, Hellhole Flailer. Uh, it's got Unleash. It's got a nice additional ability um, because it can deal damage to target player. It's a 3-3-2 three, three, with Unleash. That's, that's pretty good. Um, and then we've got Augur Spree, which I've gotten from at various times in my pulls. I think I may have pulled one recently, and I know I pulled one a long time ago. There may have been one in one of the theme decks. So it deals plus four, minus four. Very tricky use. Actually, I think it's in the Ragdos theme deck. That's where I got at least one of these. Then Counterflux, which has beautiful art. Uh, it's a rare instant. Uh, is that cannot be countered by spells or real abilities. I think um, Slaughter Games, also from Izzet in Ravnica, has a similar ability, the same ability. You can counter target spell you don't control and you can overload it. Um, now we get to the uh, three drop artifacts. I pulled Hell Vault, the one that I, the one Hell Vault that I have out of my Meridan Artifact Cube, and dropped it in this one. Uh, it's a card that I'm still trying to figure out how to use. I don't have any online. I think I'm gonna probably buy one and see how it works. Uh, and then three Trepanation Blades. Uh, Rune Charter's Pike is similar. It's a two drop. I don't have any in this uh, mini cube. Uh, in the case of Rune Charter's Pike. Uh, you drop it and it counts your sorceries and in, uh, instants. It's very good for, actually, it's very good for Grixis. I should get some. In this case, you put it on the creature and then as your opponent pulls be between lands, you get plus one, plus zero for however number of cards there are between lands. Then I also have Chalice of Life, which on the back is Chalice of Death. Um, and it just sits there and gains one life and then. Uh, if, if you get to the point where you've got 10 more than what you started with, which in standard it would be 30, then you can flip it and you can start dropping your opponent by 5. 
Then I've got the key runes, is that key rune and Ragdos key rune. Uh, two of each from the respective theme decks and one from whatever pulls I've made of each. Uh, in the case of Ragdos, it becomes a 3-1 black and red double artifact creature with first strike until end of turn. In the case of Izzet, it becomes a 2-1 blue and red elemental artifact creature if you use the ability. Uh, if not, um, you can just use it for mana balance. And of course, when any one of the, when the in the case of Izzet, if it deals combat damage, you can draw a card. So I'll do a little rewind of these cards. Took the time to flip the second chalice so you can see what it looks like from the back. Hell Vault and Trepanation Blade. Love that Counterflux. Really pretty card. Uh, 